Uh, it's been, been a pretty long time since uh, my last video. Um, I've done little ones here and there, but since my last Full Sail X video, it's been quite a long time. I like to take it back a couple months to when I had uh, historical archetypes and mythology. Um, honestly, the only thing I got out of historical archetypes and mythology is the hero cycle. The hero cycle is basically a step-by-step -step formula um, written by Campbell, who well, basically describes each step that you're supposed to take inside of uh, designing an epic, whether it be for a video game, a movie, or, or just a book. Uh, the majority of the class was a lot of reading. <laughs> ton of reading. It was just really boring. Last month, let's go back into last month. Uh, last month I had uh, character design and creation, CDC, and I had geometry <clears throat> and trig, whatever you want to call it. Both classes were okay. Geometry was really cool. Uh, the instructor for geometry is awesome. Uh, he made learning really fun and easy. Um, CDC, on the other hand, uh, not so much. Uh, CDC, was uh, your 3D character design and creation class, uh, which basically takes you step by step in creating a character. Uh, I didn't really enjoy the class, and I think the reason why I didn't enjoy the class as much is because it wasn't designed for my learning. Uh, basically, you go into a lecture, uh, the instructor will model a character or whatever piece that you're learning that day um, for four hours, and then you go into a lab and you have to basically reconstruct exactly what he was doing yourself and it's pretty difficult because he makes it look so easy but it's actually pretty pretty difficult but for the most part uh, I grinded through it um, this instructor didn't like the book this is the book that we get it's pretty thick okay outlines had a model uh, we were told right from the very beginning that this book is no good don't use this book if we use this book we will fail because the edge flow if you know anything about that already or when you actually take the class uh, the specific edge flows that they want us to learn are not in this book so if we were actually to use this book we would fail so right off the bat no reference material whatsoever secondly the class was entirely visual oriented so it was just watching him do it there wasn't a lot of video tutorials or anything like that as far as uh, the last classes we've had like uh, model creation or or 3, 3DF for that matter. Uh, you were solely on your own. So any way you could try to do it. Um, trying to learn something auditory from uh, a lecture like this and try to replicate it visually is almost impossible. I can't do it. So if you're a visual learner, you're fine. Uh, if you're like me, which I need to read the textbook in order to understand the theory behind everything and then kinesthetically do it hands-on to understand how to do it, then you're going to have a little bit of a hard time. But overall, like I said, uh, I don't really want to be a modeler. I know I can do it. I just don't want to do it. I don't really enjoy it. Um, but B+, plus, not so bad, considering how the class was actually oriented. Um, so there was poor reference material, no, no tutorials, uh, and we couldn't reference the book. So honestly, why even give us a book? I don't know. But uh, I was pretty upset with the way that the class was designed. I will talk about uh, my classes now. Right now, in my month now, we're almost getting right. It's the last week of classes, uh, the month after. And I have uh, physics, fundamentals of physics, and uh, I have 2D animation. Physics, won't really explain too much about that. A lot of math, a lot of plug and chug, a lot of formulas. Um, overall, the guy, the instructor who actually teaches physics is awesome. Uh, he makes class extremely fun and uh, keeps you on your toes. 2D animation, though, is, is sweet. The teacher uh, worked for Disney. Uh, he was an art instructor or art director for Disney for uh, 15 years before he retired. Uh, and he's done a tremendous amount of work. Uh, he's, he's drawn uh, the horse from Mulan for Mulan. He's done Baby Herman for Roger Rabbit. Uh, he's touched, uh, actually, he has his hand on Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. He's done an incredible amount of work. He's a very talented individual, and I'm just thankful to be uh, in that class. Um, the class overall, it just teaches you the basic fundamentals of 2D animation. Um, so a lot of the 12 principles of animation, I'm not going to explain the 12 principles of animation, um, but you go over the 12 principles of animation and uh, there's basically a project for each one of those fundamentals and um, that takes you out through the, out the entire course. One part I do like about the way this class is designed is it'll break you right in the middle of what you're doing uh, for a little while and they'll make you do a storytelling drawing. Uh, which basically every day or every class they will actually put one sentence on the board and you would have to draw out um, just one storyboard, one one picture, uh, the act of which they're actually writing about. One of them was like interacting with the pet, uh, avoiding a puddle, um, 
stuff like that. So that's actually pretty cool. I really enjoy that. Uh, I like storyboarding more than I like animating. I don't know why that just happened, but uh, for whatever reason. We have darkness in the valley. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I like storyboarding more than I like animating. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty sweet class overall. I guess right now I'd like to talk to you about how I am mentally. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, this last month and a half has been pretty rough. Okay? I got a, I was got kind of sidetracked. I lost track of, of what my goals were and why I was here. You start to resent why you're here. You start to resent uh, your schedule. You start to resent your free time. Basically, you the school owns you while you're here. I just want to make that abundantly clear. Your schedule is rigorous. Your workload is tremendous. And uh, you just have to get through it. You just have to keep telling yourself that this is the reason why you're doing it. Whatever specific reason that you have to do why you're doing it, you have to keep reminding yourself that. Keep telling yourself that you're doing it for a specific reason. My main reason here is because I want to be creative for the rest of my life and I want to actually be passionate enough to have that self-fulfillment that I would get out of art. And I like that feeling that I get when I'm, I completed something. Uh, I want to have that as a job. But overall, I lost track and I'm back on track now. <sighs> I guess now I will talk to you about uh, the classes I will have next semester. Uh, next semester, we have compositing, fundamentals of compositing, which is really sweet. It's one of the uh, my main interests on why I'm here at Full Sail. Uh, it's a basic class of compositing, the advanced classes later on in the degree program. And uh, we also have uh, fundamentals of animation, which is 3D animation inside of Maya. So, I don't know. I guess that's pretty much where we leave off. Uh, there will be some, uh, there was actually some requests. Honestly, if you're watching this right now and you've emailed me and I haven't gotten a chance to respond to you, I try my best to respond to everybody. Um, there may be one or two that actually slip by me. If that is the case, I apologize. Um, but I do try my best to actually respond to everybody. So if you have any questions, still feel free to email me. I'll gladly answer them. Um, I have some ideas for videos that people are, are requesting. I will do them. Uh, you just got to give me some time because I'm wrapping up classes for this semester. And uh, other than that, it's been the same old thing. And, uh, you know, just stay tuned and uh, there'll be some more videos coming. All right. Peace.